Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Teamwork and strategy are necessities of building and growing a successful business. The 7th and 8th grade classes of Adams Middle School are giving the opportunity to learn these traits and to try their hand at becoming business owners. This is our sixth year, I think, of our annual uh, AMS Entrepreneur Fair. Uh, the, it started with the seventh grade, but this year with the seventh and eighth grade, the, they are actually creating businesses. They have a business plan, they have to do displays, they have to do marketing plans and strategies, they have to make their posters, they have to make their goods, or they can have a service that they're, that they're offering. And then the winners of our competition will then go on to the regional, which is at the Sportsplex in Knott County, uh, November 20th. It's really a chance for them to do hands-on real business experience. And this is really cool because you can talk it in the classroom and they can study it and they can, but when you're actually there with a table full of cupcakes and you're trying to get somebody to buy yours instead of the ones next door, then you're thinking, oh, I should have put up more posters or maybe my price is too much. So it's, it's really hands-on, it's real, real experience and it comes pretty quickly. I'll pull their spokespeople aside, tell them what I want the business to know, and then let them go and tell. So you get some communication skills that, that aren't usually used. Um, and then here, they have to make their pitch, they have to talk to their customer, they have to interact. Um, we have uh, judges that come in, they don't know who the judges are. So they're interacting, they're learning to sell, they're learning to um, um, communicate. And it is, it's a lot of it's social skills and it's more than just the phone in front of their face. That's, that's the best part. They brought the basketballs and, and they've so they set them up, they've been playing, they've played the whole day. So it's an outlet to release some energy, there's a little bit of competition. I'm just, I'm really thankful for the opportunity uh, that KVEC and, and Moorhead State, uh, shout out to Dr. Janet Ratliff, she is, uh, spearheads this. She will bring her students down to the Sportsplex later this month to judge the regional competition. And they're using this as a teaching tool there. So for Entrepreneur Fair, it's my first year doing it this year. Last year I just got to walk around, but this year I decided to do a photo booth called PC Picks with my friend Kate. Um, we have props set up and decorations that people can decorate their little Polaroid that we um, took a picture of. Using the business side of things is different than just like, if you, I'll give you a dollar if I can get this or whatever because we learn so much about um, profits and math and the STEM program and everything like that. This is our entrepreneur fair. It's supposed to teach us about entrepreneurship and basically how to run a business if we did want to be entrepreneurs. Our idea was to do tie-dye. We tie-dyed different clothing products and we're in there selling them. We thought this would be a good idea because we don't see a lot of people wearing tie-dye and we just think it's a really good idea to put a little bit more color in the world. Our business name is Hawaiian Hut at the AMS Entrepreneur Fair and we're selling lemonade and cookies and shaved ice and stuff like that. We have learned how to build a business and how to set a goal and make a profit and basically how to run a business. I believe it's very important because in the future we need local businesses and stuff so this would really help for the future. And, um, and that's what we're trying to teach them, just to take a chance and grow from it.